Hey guys, Richie here from RW Hobbies with a brand new feature on the channel and that is new kit releases. Not sure if it's going to be any use to anybody, so please let me know in the comments below if there's something you find useful and you'd like me to continue, maybe on a monthly basis. Um, if not, if it's not much use, let me know also because it's quite time consuming putting the slides together. So if you don't really find much use, I'm not going to bother doing it. But I'm um, hopefully find it useful. I'm going to go through about 20 slides or so um, I, from new kits I, can, I found on searching the internet last couple of weeks or so. And these are all, um, as of time of recording this, September 27th, 2022. Um, it would be all kinds of different genres, as you'll see as we go through, from aircraft to armor to carts to helicopters to motorcycles, all kinds of stuff. Just kind of pick some interesting stuff I've noticed and I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, definitely some limited edition stuff too, so you can get your pre-orders in and not miss out. So without further ado, let's go through here. And um, the first one here is brand new um, announcement from Meng, and that's a 48 scale Phantom, the Wild Weasel. And there's actually gonna be two Wild Weasels in this one. There'll be another one later on from a different manufacturer. But this one looks really nice. Typical Meng, um, looks really nicely detailed. It probably won't be super cheap. Um, it's 48 scales I mentioned, and um, just looking at the CAD drawing here, and having recently built, well, a year or two ago, building the Super Hornet, it'll probably be quite big panel lines, just to heads up, like pretty um, big on the um, the Hornet. So, but man, it'll go together beautifully, and um, be, be beautiful plastic, and especially the cockpit there and the canopy just looks quite delightful. So the first one there um, I found is the um, F4G Phantom II, again in 48 scale. Next up, something else just announced last week, and that is Takum 35th scale Apache, um, both Longbow and a Guardian versions. 35th scale, like I mentioned, and it's something we've definitely been asking for for quite some time. Um, Apache is a pretty prominent helicopter um, platform that's been out many years now, and there's not too many out there in terms of model kits. So it's nice to see Takum bringing this one out. I'm sure it'd be a really good seller for them. And... Um, they just bring out some really great subjects right now, Takim. All different. They were just pretty much armor, but they bring out helicopters. They're bringing out um, boats. All kinds of interesting, you know, subject matter. So this is the, um, yeah, the Apache. Um, again, no real CAD drawings or renderings yet. All we've seen so far is just this picture right here, um, which I've displayed on the slide. Next up is, and again from Tacom, something very different is the MQ-8B Fire Scout. And it looks like it's one plus one, which I believe in Tacom world is, you can build two versions basically from the kit. So I believe you get one in there and you can either build the one um, on the left or the right. Um, there are some subtle differences, but it's um, basically kind of like a helicopter drone, I guess. Right field models, another one of the interior kits i've got quite a few of these in my stash of different types and um not the leopard but this is a brand new one coming out i think it's just been released in the far east um so if you search online you probably get them on ebay and those kind of places um leopard 2a6 full interior beautiful looking tank and as you can see there it looks quite nice with the engine detail um like i say i've got a few of very manufacturers of the interior ones but yet to build them but it's a, it definitely looks a very nice one to add to the collection Next up, Border Models, 35th scale Kodiak. Um, yeah, not too much to know about this one, but again, there's a picture there. It looks like you get some nice photo etch on there and um, an interesting um, German armor subject, uh, modern. Border Models again, the Apocalypse. This is a um, fantasy kind of piece of armor. Now, the interesting thing about this, I noticed, is it's snap fit and painted. So no glue or paint required. So look at the picture there. I'll be very surprised if it looks that good. I think it's been pretty much weathered. But I'm guessing you're getting colors, sprues, and um, yeah, snap together kit. So interesting. It looks pretty cool. I might be buying one. It just looks like an interesting subject. And um, again, a 35th scale. So it won't be tiny by any means. But yeah, just very interested to see how it looks once we get further pictures from this guy. Because again, it says it is painted. But on that picture there, you know, it does look very nicely done. And I'd be surprised that it's how it comes out of the box. Border models again, U-boat section. We've known about this, I think, for a while. I think we're getting close towards a release date now, uh, maybe in the next few months or so. But just a cool subject, because especially for your diorama kind of guys out there and girls, because it's 35th scale, which is going to be pretty big, but you just got the section. You've not got a whole U-boat, which obviously would be massive. So you've got a nice section there, and um, 
of the deck and you get I'm not sure if you get the figures with it or not but it'll make it definitely make a nice Dara armor if they don't get the figures with a kit I'm sure you can definitely get um, an aftermarket set to add those to it but yeah it, just a cool very something very different I think it'd be a great display piece okay this one's actually released and this is Zuki Mora's 30 second scale BF 109 um, the Hartman Hartman the um, edition and he, it's first release of this um, the brand new release you do get the, the figure in the resin figure with the kit for the first run of um, I don't know how many kits but I guess Suki Mora has been around for 10 years now this is a 10th anniversary kit and um, yes yeah, widely available came out in the last couple of weeks and it's not a bad price so Suki Mora used to always be very expensive but with they've kind of kept their prices pretty stable whereas everybody else has kind of come up to meet them so this is um in the US this is $95 um, at most places and I think it's not bad for a 30 second scale kit I've actually just bought this myself actually earlier today and um, looking forward to building this. And as you can see in the picture there, it, it has fully detailed, has all the frames, um, all the structure. So my plan with this one when I do build it will be to do it um, open, you know, with, so you can actually, rather hiding all that with the panels, having it open so you can see the actual frame and the structure of the aircraft, the engine, and all that kind of parts. So there's, there's a few little... There's quite a few actually um, reviews on YouTube you can check out and see the plastic. Um, but it does look a beautiful kit. And um, yeah, I'll be definitely building it and building it on my channel. So if you want to see me build this one and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and um, follow along with me as I build this, hopefully um, later on this year. Keeping with Zuki Mora and second Wild Weasel. So we saw the Meng version and this is Zuki Mora's. This has been out, well, been announced for a while now, but I think it's finally started shipping. I think last couple of days, I think it's starting to ship out and um, to be hitting stores very soon. It does look very awesome. I'm not a big Phantom guy, and but I've been holding out. I've not bought any Zuki Mora kits. Um, they pretty much have every Phantom out. You can think of different versions, and I've been holding out for the Wild Weasel. Um, more of an Air Force guy myself, and just I like the look of this guy um, with the harm missiles and all the rest of it. So, been holding out for this one. I've um, been waiting a couple of years actually, and now it's kind of starting to ship out, hit the stores. So, like I mentioned, so I think I might be picking this one up myself as well. 48 scale and uh, Suki Mora, so it'll be fantastic. And I think you're probably looking around about 80 bucks for this one. Again, um, their price has been pretty stable. Um, the Fountain's been around $75, $80 for a few years now, whereas all the other manufacturers have been seen coming up from like 50, 60s up to 100 marks. So, yeah, good good on them to keep, to keep the price stable. And um, what used to be a very expensive kit is no longer, you know, now it's in the same ballpark as um, all the other people out there. So you have a choice. You have the Meng one or the Zuki Mora, I guess, if you want a wild, wild weasel. So like waiting for buses, you wait for a long time, then you get two out at the same time. This is something I'm very excited about. Followers of my channel know I'm a big Tornado fan and a lot of Tornadoes in my stash. And this is Edward's limited edition. This is going to be the fourth one, I believe. I'm looking over at my stash here. I have the Desert Babe, I have the ECR, and I have the Farewell Tornado. And this will be the fourth one, which I'll definitely be picking up myself. And this is the um, German IDS version. As always with these kits, um, with these 48 scale ones, it's, a Re it's the Revel Sprues, which so-so. Um, but they're adding extras, so you're getting the seats and the resin seats, some PE and the resin wheels there. And you also get a painting mask and seven mask, mask options. And they've got five pictured on there. They're all looking pretty awesome. I think for me, maybe the fifth one, the bottom one there looks probably one I'd probably go for, um, the marine one. But there's two other ones we don't know about yet. But this was just announced. But Edward are normally pretty good. They normally release pretty quickly, so... I'd imagine you know, this being September, we'll probably see this likely in um, November or December. And um, yeah, it should be a really nice kit. Again, another one, nice one for the stash with some beautiful markings. And if you know, if you, if you do take a look on there on that second picture, related products, I think Edward does seem to do now is they seem to dumb down their packs a little bit and they need seem to kind of um, throw in more like, like kind of micro transactions. Like they, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different sets there. You can buy for this outside of buying the kit. So if you want to buy like the G, GBU 24s or the, um, the harm missiles or whatever, the, it's like there's nuclear bombs, which B6, is that B61? I can't quite read that. Um, so yeah, all that kind of stuff you can buy extra now. So that's how they make their money, I guess, in the micro transactions. But yeah, this is awesome looking kit. Um, do love my tornadoes and, I guess I'll be spending quite a lot of money because this is another one I will be purchasing myself. Something a little bit different. Um, Trumpeter, if you like your Russian stuff, MI-8 helicopter in 48 scale. I think they have a 35th one. Now they've downsized it to the 48th scale.
Tamiya, I think this is just starting to ship out as well. This is, um, they call it Fair Lady Z, but I think in America we call it 370Z. It's um, the latest car, the road car, the 24 scale. And this seems to be a tradition, comes with some masks. I'm not sure they're die cut or not. I think with cars they typically are, whereas the aircraft, for some reason, they aren't die cut. Um, but yeah, nice little road car there and um, some interesting colors as well. Latest bike, I think this is released, I think this is on its way out. If, if it hasn't been released by the time of this video, I think it will be out any day. And this is um, Ducati Super, oh, I'm going to put, butcher pronunciation, but I think it's Legera out V4. Um, what can we say about Tamiya bikes? They're absolutely fantastic kits. they amazing engineering. Um, unfortunately, they seem to bring out maybe one, possibly two a year. And this time around, it's going to be this Ducati. Looks absolutely beautiful. If you're into your bikes, you can see there. Just the way, you know, the second picture at the bottom, just the engineering involved. It just, a lot of paint, um, but they go full together and just, again, just beautiful works of art. So, yeah, Tamiya 12 scale Ducati. Next up, um, the third, and I think really the final of the model kits being released in this wave by Tamiya is going to be the British um, Comets tank, the A34. 12, that's a typo. It's not 12 scale. It's 20, it's um, 35th scale. So 35th scale, um, it's not that big. So 35th scale Comet tank. And um, by the looks of it, we get a couple of figures. And looks like, I think for that picture I put in, looks like it's um, length and link tracks. Great War Hobbies. Next round is a semi-second scale F15C. And this one is the 45 years in Europe. Now, I think they this is be the Lake and Heath one. And I'm pretty sure by now they've probably um, got rid of all the F15s, replaced them with the F35s. Um, but... Interesting markings. Two Bobs just released these markings. I think in, I definitely have the 48th scale ones, possibly semi second scale as well. But it's got the very interesting um, markings, like the coffin for the speed brake and um, kind of memor like a memorial to some 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 people who got lost, um, some air crew, I guess. So very nice looking markings. Um, this this would be the semi second scale kit, which is absolutely beautiful. I do have the 48 scale kit by them and I do have the two Bob decals which are identical to this as well but really nice kit um, these ones I've built them before um, the different versions and um, yeah this will be um, I'm not sure if it's out yet in Europe or US but I um, might be in, in over in Asia this one is I'm not sure the status of it so we, we I think February is when we first heard about it so the 32nd scale Raptor um, jet mats so Jet Mads is going to be all resin, so this thing's going to be a beast. It's going to be very heavy, big lump. Um, I've built on the channel the Vigan, and that was a beautiful kit. It was very challenging, um, but it was a lot of work and a lot of satisfaction um, and, and a great, great fun to work with. So um, I'm sure this will be the same. So if you want a large-scale Raptor, um, check out this one. With Jet Mads, they only seem to do like 500 per piece. So always, it's always prudent. You know, keep, keep an eye on the Facebook page um, and just all right. Uh, the website and check check it out regularly um, for the new releases, whether it be the Raptor or whatever it is. And then when once you can get on there and place the um, deposit and get the pre order in, because that's that's what I did with the vegan, and um, I know a lot of people missed out. So if you do want a 30, 30 second scale Raptor, I'm no, I have no idea if they they've done the pre release, um, taken the orders or not yet. But just check out their um, Facebook page or website, and um, you can see more information about that. This one is um, BPK 72nd scale Poseidon. Now Poseidon's based upon a 737, and they also released the, the 737 B, BPK did about uh, two years ago, I think it was, and it's a beast. So like I can mention there, it's, it's two foot long basically. It's 21.5 inches long. Plus you got the wingspan. It's basically a 72nd scale 737. Um, it's going to be a handful, I think. I what I've seen, I've seen a hand, one or two people build this and. Um, it's a typical short run kit. You're gonna need plenty of um, patience, um, sanding, filling, you know, getting these fuse large parts together. As you can see there, it's not one section. You've got a rear section, a front, and then a, a nose. So on each side, so you basically have six pieces. I'm guessing to get together the, um, well, actually maybe probably four plus the nose to get together the um, the main fuselage. So it'd be a handful, but it's gonna be massive. Um, it's gonna be very impressive once it's done. If you want the civilian version, then you can definitely go out and find that pretty easily. The 737 on eBay or the usual places and 72nd scale. Just the only thing is there's not many decal options available um, at all. So not many aftermarket. So if you want the civilian version, I think you've got Qantas um, and a couple other 
um, maybe, and that's pretty much it. So, but yeah, if you want Poseidon, uh, I'm not sure it's out yet. I think it's soon, but yeah, it'd be 70 second scale. And that is it. So we've run through my, I think it was 17 slides in total. So hopefully you found that one somewhat interesting. Um, if you have, please let me know. Um, thumbs up, all that kind of jazz, and I'm happy to do it again. Um, make this a regular feature on the channel. Um, but yeah, just want to showcase some of the amazing new products coming out. We are pretty much blessed, in, but we have such you know a huge array. I just picked a handful out here, but there's so much um, coming out, especially this time of year as we're coming towards Christmas as well. There's a lot of new products coming out. But yeah, thank you for watching as always. Again, this is Richie from Adobe Hobbies, and I'll see you next time.